Hi, my name is Evelyn, and I have dyslexia, which makes it harder for me to read and write than most people. I grew up in Japan where dyslexia was not recognized, and the teachers at my school had never heard of it. Even though I studied hardly into the night, my grades were terrible, and I was failing almost everything. I pretended to be lazy as an excuse for not doing well, and I was terrified to go to school because my parents told me that if somebody found out about my dyslexia, that I'd get bullied. I soon realized that going to a school in America where dyslexia was understood was the only way for me to get the help I needed to graduate from high school. So when I was 16, I moved to America on my own to get an education that accommodated my learning differences. After relocating to America, I finally received the assistance I needed to succeed in school, which enabled me to graduate from both high school and now college, and I was even on the Dean's list. I am proof of how assistive technology and accommodation can empower people with learning differences. Although my diagnosis show that I am in the 1% that needs more time to read and write than most people, my visual intelligence is in the top 1%. Would you see me as somebody who can't do well in school, or someone who just has different talents? It is important to spread awareness about dyslexia, because dyslexia comes with special gifts. When I think back to my move from Japan, I feel very lucky and privileged that I had the opportunity to move to America and get diagnosed and receive accommodations for school. Knowing there are still so many people with dyslexia that don't have the resources I receive breaks my heart. So now, I'm using my visual intelligence as a UX product designer, where I get to advocate for neurodivergence needs in the digital product space. During my free time, I'm creating a dyslexia resources platform, a platform I wish I'd had when I was a struggling student back in Japan with no resources. This platform provides user-rated resources, a discussion platform, and accessibility settings so users can find their ideal reading settings and to navigate the platform without obstacles. If I win this contest, I'll be using 100% of the prize to build this platform. My mission is to make dyslexia resources universally available. I was once a failing student, but now I'm thriving in a career that I am passionate about. This was possible because I was able to come to America where the ADA protected my rights and I got support from my family and teachers that believed I have many talents to develop. Thank you Lime Connect for putting me in the limelight.